Hey folks, today I'm just doing a quick video on a modification to Fisher Minimount 1 plow to make it more uh, easy, easily removed and installed, kind of like a Minimount 2. Uh, you can see this is Alex's Minimount 1 and it has the ears on here and the way that's set up. Uh, there's not a super easy way to you have to unhook both sides while lifting it up and one side at a time by pulling on these and that's kind of a pain so what I did on mine is first of all I removed the pins the, the L parts cut them off ground them down I whittled this down a bit so it would actually recess in the post in in this piece a little bit um, I drilled a new hole looks about a half an inch out um, to, with a because that's where the cotter pin goes for the spring and this is really just a door pin but you can see it's on the long side a door hinge pin um, it needs to be able to hit this because if this spins it, you, this bar won't work. The bar that goes up like that. Um, I also made this about a half an inch wider. That one's actually my first version that I tried. And this is the better version, so it's just a half an inch out. And like I said, I cut out, cut the pin off, ground it down, made that smaller so it would fit inside, slid that over a half an inch. Put a new drill a new hole. This bar, I was thinking about making it myself, one on each side, there's a left and a right, but for the price of buying them from Fisher or the Fisher part number, they were it was like thirty dollars total. It really wasn't worth my house worth the time and hassle to, to try and make that. Yeah, it's not a lot to it, but there's a lot of bends and it just works good the way they already have it. Um, so after that, I built this bar, so this is, this is pretty much all tubing from like a futon or something, stuff I had laying around. Um, probably should be a little more rugged, but it does a job. So this is, this bar fits inside this tube, which is welded to the frame, it goes all the way through. This is just a spacer, I got a piece welded to the end of the tube. On this side, it's pretty much the same. Just a spacer so it can't slide too far. Of course you have the bar coming down and then I made the handle. Um, I did make the handle so it could come off and this tube actually fits inside this tube and it's got a bolt so I can take this all off easily if I have an issue. Um, and pretty much all it takes, as long as everything is well greased up well, which is the same on the actual Minimount 2s, you have to have them super greased and cleaned up, is that it just pulls right out quite easily. So all you really got to do is push up on the headgear, head pull the handle, unplug your plugs, or I'll drop your leg plug your plugs and, and you're done it's painless and going back in same way line it right up pull it in so it's the headgear flops down um, push up on it so you can release enough so you can release the arm and then wiggle it up and down wiggle it up and down a little bit and it'll lock right in uh, it's a really helpful mod I like it and makes life my life so much easier I'm not as young as I used to be so a um, couple another thing I will add is sorry about the grass is I've got a you can see the zip tie right here I did the same on the other side it's just if you're not careful you can pull this thing too far up and then and then it'll go beyond the pin that's just a an easy quick 
stop I added. You can, obviously you can do it other ways. Actually, I don't even have it on this side. I only have it on the other side. So, again, that's all there is to it. And really, I think I spent more time thinking about it in my head than I did actually building it. It was it went together quite quickly, and and uh, I was going to go back and do some more modifications to make it make it a little better and cleaner, but it worked, so I never got back to it. Uh, it's been I think I used this coming season in the fall will be the third time I've used this setup, I believe. Um, but, uh, there you go, and thanks for watching.